is 6.05. I am leaving my amazing job, the day job, the one that pays me well and keeps me in health insurance. It is a wrestling weekend once again. I am leaving right now from Music to head over to the Providence Playhouse for the huge Gary Capella um, speaking thing tonight, the engagement we have with Gary. Uh, Gary's a class act. I had a chance to sit down and talk to him for a little bit. Dude is a super, super talented, super nice guy who just wants to convey his knowledge of the business and tell everyone how he feels and what we're doing right. And he thinks he can help us out, and we are we know we can help him out. So let's go. Let's hit the road. We're not that far away from the province playoffs. Maybe about 10 minutes. And um, we'll see what's going on down there. Get to downtown Scranton. I am actually gonna go. That is a terrible, terrible glare. Ah, geez, Jesus. Anywho, I haven't eaten all day because I've been at work all day and I really don't like to get cafeteria food there because it's expensive and crappy. So I'm gonna go grab some expensive and crappy Arby's before I go to the show. This one's the men's room. It happens. One's clearly a guy, one's <laughs> Sitting here, out front, at the Capetta show. Fans starting to pile in. Getting going soon. That's how the champ's here. Tad champ. Hello. Yeah. Just saw Kate Cassidy. Um, yeah. Formal event at the Providence Playhouse. Let's see if we can do tonight. Every time. Um, maybe, you know, we were just, uh, found it on TV or online and just said, oh, what is that? Maybe a parent or a grandparent introduced us to it, you know, oh, come on, I want to see, you know, the hockey game. No, 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 no. We're going to watch Bruno San Martino or Ric Flair tonight. Then maybe in school you might have had a friend who, uh, who said that they watched wrestling. That would have never happened when I was a kid because hey, you didn't admit to being wrestling. Capetta, we're on the Hall of Fame now. We're on the GSMC Hall of Fame. Okay, sure. I want a ring. I want a real ring. So we just figured out Matt's gimmick for wrestling. He's just going to be the Hall of Famer in the Gary Mike Capetta Hall of Fame. Right, Matt? We got a ring. What is going on? I got a ring. I have a Hall of Fame, too. Too sweet. <laughs> Mm, I don't know. Intermission here at Capetta. Doing good so far. John's on Tinder. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, me too. I don't know about their Tinder flubs. This one especially, but. That's why I deleted it. Catherine's every time. He's bothered to death, apparently. You don't have a lot of use in there. No, I know. It's okay, man. 
You're not missing much. Thick boys don't use Tinder. Right? Thick boys use Tinder. Thick boys in committed relationships, unfortunately, don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. For that. And they would be, the, the natives would be sitting in the trees watching the wrestling shows. <coughs> so the promoter said, well, I'm losing money. I have to do a little bit more. So the next time he was there, he told one of his guys, he says, here's a saw. I want you to go up in those trees, but I don't want you to saw the limbs off. I just want you to make like, cuts in all the limbs. So the guy said, okay. So they can get ready for the show. The sun goes down. All of a sudden you hear the shimmy, and you hear boom, 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 boom. Because the guy said they had crawled out onto the limbs, and they just, you know, they couldn't withstand those cuts. Well, that wasn't part of the show. That just came to mind. How did you Intermission, GMC, outside, just get some air. Been fun, that's about all this WWF stuff so far. Quitting on Vince, now he's moving into the NWA. Uh, yeah, been a fun little show, you know. Gary's entertaining as all hell, knowledgeable, smart, nice dude. And, uh, you know, let's see how the rest of this goes. Let's go. And coming, instead of coming out of the dressing room directly to the ring, he kind of circled around the back of the ring. Before I knew it, he had bear hugged me from the back and sacked me. He just threw me down and he started to chew on my carnation boot mirror. And I'm trying to wiggle out. Of course, I wasn't going to go anywhere if he didn't want me to go anywhere. But he loosened up a little bit. I left my jacket behind. And uh, years later, I said to him, because I was, I was right with him for, for a long time. I said to him, why did you do what you did to me? Because each and every time he would come to the ring after that, he would chase me. Sometimes I'd wind up at the concession stand, sometimes I'd wind up in the balcony, and you know, the people loved it. Now the McMahons, they didn't like it. Because, and I would understand it because he's bringing attention to a ring announcer. I don't sell tickets. I don't bring the people to a wrestling match. I said to him, why did you do that for all those years. He said, because the very first time that I talked to you, you insulted me. Sitting here back to your competitor, he's out your there right mom. now talking. See, Who's your mom's sitting here with the owner. What's up, Johnny? Yeah. Gotta keep quiet, don't care, he's out there doing what stuff. What years he's talking? Cases and cases. He's talking about either. sitting on that. So, of course, um, he picked up a chair and backed around to the back of the hotel down our hallway. Now, of course, I didn't know any of this was going on. I was in bed, I was trying to go to sleep, and all of a sudden, I heard a rumble. And then all of a sudden, the pictures on the wall started to shake. And my first reaction was, oh man, the boys are playing. Don't they ever get tired? I had no idea this was serious. So I go over to my, my door, and I put my hand on the doorknob to turn it, and all of a sudden, my door like exploded, like the sound, boom! It's like, holy cow. I, I, I kind of figured this wasn't a game anymore. Then I heard some voices, I heard some shouting, and I thought, not a good idea to go in there. When everything died down and I walked out into the halls, the, the walls were splattered with blood. What had happened was Sid had taken the chair and he started knocking, knocking, slamming at, on Arn's door. The only thing that Arn had to protect himself were scissors. Brought them out, they had, a, they had their fight, and, and it, was, it was one of the, the gloomier, um, most horrible things that I had ever experienced. There were stab wounds all over their, uh, wounds all over their torso. Um, they rushed to the hospital, of course, sent back to the States. Um, uh, it was just a really sad, really sad night. Oh. Michael goes on fire. That's amazing. That's awesome. Isn't that great? But I'm like, I'm a pussy and I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I still All right, you were saying what, no, lady? You did what at Trajan's job today? I didn't really poop in the toilet. You liar. I pulled the camera out and you said before you pooped in the toilet. I didn't actually do it. I sort of took a big old car. He specifically <laughs> said he top shelved it at Lowe's. I would. Everyone here heard him say he top shelved it at Lowe's to fuck with Trajan Horn. Dude. I just got it. I'm so doing it. What you do actually is you put.
tons of toilet paper in before you shit, you shit on the toilet paper, you put a bunch on top of that, and turn a flush and it goes nowhere. And then, wipe your ass with paper towels. There it is. Then we're here to cross over for Kelly's for some pizza. It's night one of our uh, wrestling double shot. So good, it's man. coming in tomorrow. It's on the road to True with this man and Matty D and maybe Trajan, man, maybe AJ. I don't know. We'll stay on it tomorrow. Whoever fits in the car. Pretty much. Whoever does it rides in the back of the luggage. That's, that's that what would be a favorite. <laughs> 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 they don't do video when they like, I have these guys. I used to do, I used to do basketball. A couple thick boys eating some pizza. It's amazing. I am sitting here in my car outside of Walmart. Uh, just left dinner with GMC. After just a dinner with GMC, after that great night at the Providence Playhouse, after his one man show, Body Slams Live, or I'm sorry, Beyond Body Slams, excuse me. Uh, afterwards, he took us to dinner. It was just pizza, cross street for Telly's, um, but it was awesome, delicious. Some of the thing, the thick boys eating pizza. I don't want to share too much of that. Uh, that was kind of a private thing with you know us and Gary, you know, the backbreakers, curious and the. Uh, Grand Slam crew and Gary just hanging out sharing some time. She just talked more in depth with us about business and life and you know, it's a good shit. Um, Gary's a class act and apparently we're doing some more stuff with him in the future over the summer actually. Um, yeah, I was on my way home and um, I told you before, or maybe you didn't hear, I don't know, I woke up with an earache this morning that has gone on to a full-blown ear infection and um, it sucks. Tried to call my doctor at, uh, at lunch today at work, and they were away at lunch herself, so I couldn't talk to the nurse to get me antibiotics. So, I was at Walmart to get a heating pad, which apparently we don't have one at my parents' house, which is weird. And I'm going to uh, do hot compresses, which is like a, a thing they do for hearing ear, ear aches and ear infections. You put a hot compress on it to try to draw some of the... Uh, the swelling out of your ear. I'm just take some Advil and that, and try to get some sleep. Get up tomorrow to go to True True Wrestling, run by our good buddies Sean and Clay and Aaron and all those good kids at Dunham Berwick. Uh, that'll be fun. True is always a good time. Uh, I'll have the big camera. I'm taping all this on my my phone, but I'll have my big camera tomorrow. And uh, for the shenanigans and the drive down and what we see at True and all the boys are hanging out with, all the good times that are had and the, the sheets run and all that horse shit. But yeah, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to get me a heating pad and uh, yeah, I'm going to go home.